What is blockchain technology? Let's break down the concept of blockchain technology into simple terms. Imagine you have a notebook where you write down all your transactions. Whenever you buy something or give something to someone, you write it down in this notebook. Now, instead of you being the only one who has this notebook, let's say everyone in your neighborhood has a copy. Now, whenever you make a transaction, instead of just writing it in your own notebook, you tell everyone in the neighborhood and they all write it down in their notebooks too. This way, everyone knows who has what and who gave what to whom. But here's a twist. Once something is written in that notebook, it cannot be changed or erased. It stays there forever. So if someone tries to cheat by changing what's written, everyone else will notice because their copies won't match. This is like having a community verified record that cannot be tampered with. That's essentially what blockchain technology does. It's like a digital notebook that records transactions across a network of computers. Each transaction is verified by multiple computers, also called nodes, in the network. And once it's recorded, it cannot be changed. This makes it secure and transparent, which is why it's used for things like cryptocurrencies, like Bitcoin, and other applications where trust and transparency are important. Now, what is a blockchain wallet? Let's connect connected back to the notebook analogy. Remember how we talked about everyone in the neighborhood having a copy of the notebook where transactions are recorded? Well, think of your blockchain wallet as your personal copy of that notebook. When you get a blockchain wallet, it's like getting your own personal notebook in this digital world. Instead of writing transactions on paper, though, you're recording them digitally on the blockchain. So just like in the neighborhood where everyone writes down their transactions in their notebooks, when you make a transaction with your blockchain wallet, it's recorded on the blockchain network. And just like in the neighborhood scenario, everyone in the blockchain network has a copy of these transactions. So they are secure and they are transparent. Your blockchain wallet also has a unique address, which is like your personal page in the neighborhood notebook. This address is where other people can send your cryptocurrencies, and it's also where your transactions are recorded. So in essence, your blockchain wallet is like your personal digital notebook where you keep track of all your transactions securely on the blockchain network, and everyone else can also see how much money you have. Now, let's extend the analogy to explain cryptocurrency for beginners. So imagine if instead of using traditional money like coins and bills, people in the neighborhood started using special tokens called crypto coins. These crypto coins are like digital tokens that exist only in the digital world. Just like with regular money, you can use crypto coins to buy things from others in the neighborhood, but instead of physically handling over coins or bills, you send these digital tokens from your blockchain wallet to someone else's blockchain wallet. Now here's where it gets interesting, and like regular money that's controlled by a central authority like a bank or government, crypto coins are decentralized. That means there is no single person or entity in charge. Instead, transactions are verified and recorded by everyone in the neighborhood who has a copy of the digital notebook, the blockchain. So when you make a transaction with crypto coins, it is recorded on the blockchain by all the computers, nodes in the network. This makes crypto transactions secure and transparent because everyone can see them and they can't be changed or tempered with. And just like with traditional money, the value of crypto coins can go up and down based on supply and demand. People might want to buy crypto coins because they believe their value value will increase over time or individuals might use those cryptocurrencies to invest, trade, or even as a form of payment for goods and services. In summary, cryptocurrency is like a new form of digital money that operates on a decentralized network called the blockchain. It allows for secure and transparent transactions without the need for intermediaries like banks or governments. And just like with traditional money, it can be used to buy things, invest, or trade. But it is essential to approach it with caution and understanding. I'm done for today. I'll talk to you soon. Ivan KV out. What?